All right, welcome to my tutorial on the HP 50G graphing calculator. Uh, we are going to learn how to graph. And to do this, we're going to start with the equation x squared minus 4. Okay, we're going to go ahead and graph that line. And then we're going to we're going to we're going to try and come up with the vertex and also the x-intercepts. Okay? So, to do that, from your, from your, if you're at your home screen, okay, uh, if you're in RPN mode, this is critical, if you just hit the white left shift and then hit Y equals, nothing's going to happen. Okay, you've got to press and hold the white key and then come up and hit your Y equals, F1. And what you're going to do is bring up the plot function window. All right, so right here, what we're gonna do is add an equation, F2, and we're gonna put in x squared minus four, x, y of x, squared. Highlight that term, and then we're gonna put in the minus four, minus four. And that's it, hit enter. So now we have that equation in our plot function window and then to draw that on the graph you hit F6 and there we have it alright we're going to zoom out just a little bit actually we're going to go ahead and we're going to fix this I want to zoom in um, let's see zoom factor no we don't want four Let's go ahead and change that to a factor of 2. Okay, we're going to change this one to a factor of 2. We're just changing our zoom factor so we can zoom in and out a little bit more accurately. Zoom in. Okay, there we go. Now we're in business. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to find the x-intercepts right here and right here. We also want to find the vertex where it crosses the y-axis right there. Okay. So, one of, the, one of the methods you can use, you can use the trace function. Press F3, and it gives you a little cursor, the little cursor popped up right here. And then hit the X comma Y, F2. So, when our cursor is at the bottom, it's at the vertex. X is equal 0, Y is equal negative 4. And using the right and left arrow keys, you can move that cursor right or left. I'm going to move it up here to the x-axis. Now you see that x is equal to negative 2 when y is equal 0. That's one of your x-intercepts right there. Let's move over to the other x-axis. And you see that x is equal to y is equal 0. Okay, so then we see that the vertex is equal to 0, negative 4, and the x-intercepts are equal to negative 2 and 2. Or you can actually rewrite that as negative 2, 0. And, oops, 2, 0. Okay, so that's your x-intercepts. Now there's other ways of finding this out, too. You can go right here under the function folder, F4 and hit the EXTR button, which stands for Extremes, F6. And you see the extreme here, it's looking for extreme high or extreme low. And in this case, there's an extreme low at the bottom of this parabola of 0, negative 4. So that's another way you can find your vertex. All right. We can also find the intersects with the F2 key. Okay, you see that one of them is at 2, 0, and it puts a little cursor there. See the little cursor just moved when I move the arrow keys? It's saying 2, 0. Now if you want to find this other intercept, easy enough. You move this cursor over here, get it near the line. It doesn't even have to be exactly on the line. But just get it near that line, the closer the better. Hit the intersect button again, F2, and you see then it calculates this intersect as negative 2, 0. 
and that's how you find your vertex and your x-intercepts using the HP 50G calculator. And keep in mind, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, 2Ms, huh? Put them down there, and I'll check them, read them, get back to you. If you want more videos, let me know. If you've got a specific question with the HP 50G, let me know, um, and I'll post a video on it. Thank you.